Hello again. Uh, I thought we'd uh, recap today on probably what has been the most popular uh, pushchair on the market for the last 12 months, and, and that's the baby style, the Oyster 3. Uh, the Oyster 3, as its name suggests, takes over from the Oyster 2 and the original Oyster and showed a, a big improvement over the previous two models. Can be bought just as a, a, a pushchair or with the optional carry cot, uh, which to be fair is what we tend to sell it more uh, as, a, as a better newborn uh, solution, from birth solution. Um, also with car seat adapters to fit an optional car seat on, they, they do their own, but to be fair, we sell more of the uh, Maxi Cozy, uh, the Cybex, or um, the Be Safe car seats to go onto it. So we'll tr do a quick recap for you. So here we are in, this is the uh, noir colour, as it uh, is called, which is actually the, the, the caviar uh, fabric, but with a black frame uh, and, the, and the black handles. Uh, the true black, uh, as it is here, uh, is, uh, as the frame is only available on this fabric. So what you've got is carry cot, one of the easiest on the market, uh, handles on the top and the hood, one latch at the back and it just simply lifts off. So it's just one catch there, lifts on and off. Line it up, off you go. Carry cot, if you want to use it in the house when you're coming in, it has got um, plastic runners on the bottom. So if, it, if the floor was a little bit dirty or something, it's not going to harm it. And as you can see, it has a rocking mode. It can stop it rocking. There's simply some little feet uh, underneath which flap out there and there, which makes it more stable. Very, very easy to use. Stick it back onto the, the frame. Other features that you've got. Again, for summer, more ventilation. You've got simple mesh at the back help the airflow uh, goes through. You've got a zip off apron, can come all the way off and obviously the hood will go down. Comes complete with mattress and also with uh, a rain cover, uh, which is something you probably need in the, in the UK. Uh, we don't seem to get away without needing one. That locks back into place and off you go. Let's go to the chassis while we've got this uh, this here. You have got swivel wheels at the front. Let's see how they move around quite uh, easily. In most cases, on, on most push chairs, you've got a button to do on each wheel. On this one, you haven't. You've just got one latch in the middle and it locks both at the same time. There is suspension on the front wheels, as there is a suspension on the back wheel as well. It's quite a stiff suspension to be fair, but obviously as a child gets uh, heavier, it's just going to help it, uh, uh, it can bottom out a little bit more, just uh, makes it a little bit better. You've got one easy brake at the bottom. It is uh, what we call flip-flop friendly, so you can press it down and then you can also press down at the front. You're not having to lift up if you've got flip-flops on uh, in the summer months. Handle height. Generally, simply a squeeze in the middle and it'll go into about five different positions. Folding, very simple. This is again, it's just a little trigger. Like either hand goes to there, that goes across. And it just lifts up. It does lock together, so if you're putting it in and out the back of the car, then it's not going to fold open. When you want it open, simply open that up, and away you go. Very, very simple to use. You have got a quick release wheel, so that if you had gone out and got muddy or something like that, you want to save it in the back of the car, you want to take it off for cleaning. Simple button in the middle allows you to 
release the wheels, the front wheels will also come off uh, for cleaning. While we've got it there, similar to many others, set of car seat adapters, simply clip into place, come along with your car seat, this happens to be uh, a B safe car seat, but as I say, Maxi Cozy, uh, Cybex will all fit onto the uh, onto the, uh, the adapters. And you've got your hood. Simply lifts up. What you will find, uh, uh, and this is just in, in, in general, not just for this push chair, there are a lot of push chairs. When you try and take for that first few times, trying to take that car seat off the adapters, they tend to be. The stick a little bit basically it's the newness uh, you're talking about plastic uh, receptors and, and, and plastic uh, adapters here and they tend to stick a little bit a little tip just give them a, a, a spray with a, a, a furniture polish or a, a silicon spray something like that and it'll just work a lot lot easier uh, and that goes for most uh, adapters to be honest not just baby style just about all the others on the market just makes life easier for yourself so, put that back onto there, very easy, one-handed, over to the push chair. So what you'll uh, notice again, the push chair is very easy to lift on and off, it's just one little strap underneath the child's uh, bottom, so obviously the child won't be there when you're taking it off, and it will face either direction, and you've got various positions from, put the leg rest up, that's a lie flat position. So you can put a young child in there if you want, but obviously it is a little bit open. Um, if you were going to buy it just as the push chair, then I would recommend going for one of the cosy toes, the foot mugs, uh, to fit inside, which will just make it a, a bit uh, nicer for the child, a bit more protection for, for a young baby. That's the hood, if you've got it laid down, you'll notice that it, there's not a huge amount of coverage there. So again, simple zip, and you're adding an extra panel to that hood, which gives it more, um, more coverage, which makes it a little bit better. Obviously that goes in all positions. If you've got the backrest in one of the more upright positions, you're probably not gonna need that extra panel. You have also got a little peak, it's like a peak cap, uh, to go on, if you didn't want that, you can either fold it out of the way, or it does unzip. Bumper bar on the seat, again, to make life easy to put the child in and out. Simply a button. Move it out of the way, child goes in, click it back again. Most children tend to like that as they get older, hold on with the, the hands and generally ask you to go a bit faster. Um, and you've also got the foot rest that goes down into uh, different positions. So all of those features you can have on the chassis in either direction. So it doesn't matter which way around, whether you're having them parent facing or world facing, you can have all the same thing as far as those positions are concerned. Again, uh, what I didn't show you was similar to uh, the carry cart, again, you have got a ventilation panel. So again, this will move out of the way and you can get some ventilation around the back uh, when it's a little bit warmer. Unlike some other push chairs uh, on the market, this one will fold up with the seat on. So all you need to do, simply flip it forward, fold, as we did before. You've actually got a handle on it then, and away you go. Again, undo the clip, give it a flick, and you're ready to go. And you can do that with the side of the way around. So again, you can put that all the way down, and off you go. Obviously, not the lightest in the world when you're uh, carrying it with the seat unit. Um, whoop, should have put the brake on and do it for there. But it is possible to do. 
obviously if you if you did find it was too heavy, just do it again. Just take that off and do them as two separate units. The push chair part. Other features are of the push chair. You'll notice it's got this headrest here, and that does actually move up and down. So um, as you move up and down, there is a, a button here for the hood. I don't know whether you can, probably can't see that. I'm not doing a very good job. But you notice as I move the hood up, the actual the harness and the headrest move up and down with it. I really should have done it when it was the other way around. It's easier to get my, uh, my fingers in uh, to do it on uh, the other way. Just come to there and up and down. There is a little zip pocket uh, underneath. You should be able to put little bits and pieces in. And you've obviously you've got your basket uh, for storage underneath. Again, comes with a rain cover as it does with the the carry pot so no matter what mode you're in uh, you have got weather protection to go around it. As we mentioned about uh, other accessories, uh, the parasol is in plain black, uh, some fabrics uh, come as we've got here with the mirror chassis or chrome chassis uh, which has the brown handle. The only one which is uh, different than that is there's a a new special edition that we've managed to get a few of, uh, which is uh, the chrome or, or, or the mirror, but with a black handle, and that is in this fabric, which is, a, say, a special edition. You probably can't see it from there. Has got a, it is a black, but it has got a slight, like a, a print on it, an embossed print on it. Now this one. Uh, is a AINR special, which is an association of independent nursery retailers special, um, only available through uh, members of the of the scheme, and that comes with the carry cot, the push chair, car seat adapters, foot muff, the bag, and what we haven't got out here. It also comes with uh, a liner for the seat and also an apron to go over the feet as well. So um, it comes with extra features over the standard uh, Oyster. As I say, it comes in a selection of colours. Uh, we have had one or two uh, end of last year. We've had one or two problems regarding uh, delivery. The uh, sales went through the roof and uh, product wasn't coming in from China. And anyway, we seem to be over the worst of that now. We're just about to all orders have been fulfilled just about there's only one or two uh, left but not far off and we have good stocks in other colors so all, we've gone from feast uh, we've gone from famine to feast and uh, got plenty in so that's the baby style oyster three available to order now